right now. Over half our quantity for the season is already gone from our abundance of blooms daylily collection. Over 6,000 have been ordered. This is gorgeous in the garden. Philip Watson, our master horticulturist, hand selected these four daylilies. So you would have what he considers to be the perfect collection. For if you already have daylilies, add these to them. If you are just interested in daylilies, start with the best. So, Philip, this really is like a wardrobe of daylilies. Indeed it is. And notice how rich all the colors are in this collection. Uh, and that's what I chose these for it is the large flowers. That's what they have all have in common are the six to seven inch diameter blossoms on these and the beautiful foliage on these, but just gorgeous, gorgeous colors in this collection. And they ship out as a big bare root tuber. Look at this. And I love Here, the daylilies because they are absolutely easy to grow and you can plant them sideways, upside down, any which way, and they're gonna work in every part of the country from Miami all the way up to Minnesota. So here's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get four of these, some of the easiest plants to plant. Um, and yes. Philip, when I look at this, this looks really healthy. This is not what I'm getting out of like a container or one of those like envelope containers at the big box store, for sure. It's not all dried up. No, and they, that's where they, they sell them in a, in a dried up little envelope with some sawdust. Yeah. Or what they'll do is that they'll have this and they'll have it in a large pot, but it'll be this, it's in a large pot that is just rooted into it. So you're better off with this because you don't have to dig as big of a hole. They also don't have to be planted very deep. They'll grow in the sun to mostly shade. They'll grow in wet. Once established, they'll tolerate drought. Uh, and it's one of those great things if you've got a rental property or a vacation home, plant them there because they'll take care of themselves. Even if you get salt water inundation, they don't mind. They'll even grow in that horrible soil where your husband changed the oil in the car and it got into the lawn. Nice. And you know, you're going to get all of this beauty. They end up being about five or four dollars. Wait a second. Yeah, they end up being yes. about what would that be? Four dollars and change a piece. No. Philip, I can't do math. I've been talking for three hours. How Listen, I don't how know. I can't do numbers. I know that this is a really, really good deal, okay. and you're not going to find can I, these. Can I, please, can I please redeem myself? It's they're six dollars and change a piece. Six dollars and change a piece. And then my producer said in my ear, six seventy-three. Um, I had a little brain freeze there for a moment. This is why I talk about plants for a living, and I'm not an accountant. Okay, so they're easy payments yes. of eight dollars and ninety-seven cents. Now tell me, with these four varieties, you pick them for the color, but they have some other unique qualities as well. Well, they do. Um, the golden prize, uh, which is that beautiful yellow one. The bloom is seven inches across and it reblooms. This is one of the few big rebloomers that you, that that's out there and I'm telling you something that's going to set your garden on fire. That will absolutely do it. Um, also in the collection, we have got a creamy pink called Only Believe. And you know what's special about that one besides being really enormous flower is that it is extremely fragrant. The first day lily my grandmother gave me was one called Hyperion that was also very fragrant. And I was wild about that one. Um, but only believe it's got a burgundy uh, edge and eye. And then we also have Open Hearth, which is the biggest one in the collection. It is a red rebloomer. The it's nine inches across with that lemon pie eye, which will rock. And then we've got Orion Star, which I call the fancy, I mean sky, call, which I call a fancy dancer because it's got fringe on the edge of the petals. So it looks like a flapper dancer up there. And I'm thinking, okay, I'm in. Well, you know, I just love the fact that, listen, you could have brought us a lot of different day lilies, but I think it's there's some real comfort in knowing that this is the four that you put together, right? So for anyone yes. who's just like not sure what goes with what, Philip chose these because how they'll react together, how they'll look together. So you'll have nice, like a nice wave of bloom time as well. And if you're a non-gardener or a first-time gardener, you're at the right spot. Because not only with the guarantee, you've also got these easy care daylilies. 
I defy you to kill the daylily because it is the easiest of all. It's the first perennial my grandmother gave me when I was a child because she knew I would succeed mm -hmm. and she wanted someone to garden with her. So when you're gonna share something with someone that you want to garden with you, make sure that they get something that works and it will always be the daylily. I always think of like the easiest plants, hens and chicks and daylilies and your sedum, like done, 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 right? <laughs> yeah, right, and that's what we like, one one and done. And I mentioned the, the ghost plants, mm -hmm. you know, from, from gardeners that are gone. The daylily is one of those. And it will be uh, at an old house site long after the gardener and the house are completely gone because that's what daylilies do. They come to stay. Yeah, this is, one of, the, will... this is one of the longest lived perennials, right? I mean, they'll be around yes. for a long, long time. Indeed it is, and as I mentioned, they do beautifully in Miami, they do beautifully in Minnesota, all places. I use them on rooftop gardens when I lived in Manhattan. I was just getting my career started because I knew it was one of the few perennials that would come back on a rooftop in Manhattan after a brutal winter. Wow. These will just do it. They, these grow all up into Canada. You're, it's just fabulous plants. Well, guess what? They are going what? very, very quickly <laughs> at this point. So here's what you need to know. Over half our quantity, well, actually more, Brian, how many have now been ordered? Almost a thousand have been ordered in this show, over 7,500 this season. Grab them while we still have it. Picked for their different, unique qualities. Four gorgeous daylilies. Just six dollars and change a piece. They will be gorgeous in the garden. Philip, what I really like and I can't stress enough is that these will not yeah. be the same daylilies that your neighbor had because your neighbor went to the same store that their neighbor went to. Like, you know, I notice in neighborhoods everybody tends to have the same types of flowers a lot of times. Nobody else, because everybody's shopping at the same stores, nobody right. else is gonna have this. And you're set up for success because you'll get four of these tubers, which these rhizomes, like this is the good stuff. It's not all dry like and you they mentioned. Bloom this year. Oh wow. So this oh, yes, becomes yes. what's in front of me this year. Yes. And I'm telling you what, you will love these day lilies. Uh, big blooms, big results, low, low maintenance on these. And you know, the older I get, the higher maintenance I have become. It, I find that it takes impossible a whole to believe. Lot to be me. <laughs> <laughs> so and I need for my garden unit you know, to take up the slack and sort of take care of itself. So I am gravitating more towards things that behave themselves. Well, considering you and I don't always, it's nice that we at least have the daylilies, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so let's take a look. Here's your golden prize. That is so pretty. And they're oh, big. Yes, indeed they are. And it, that's a rebloomer, seven inches across. Wow. And then I want to take a look. This only believe I think it's my favorite in the collection. I ah, did that beautiful creamy pink. And also I wish you could smell that one because it is so fragrant. You you will just love the fragrance. Yeah, when you get these home, you'll absolutely love them. And then the next is the open heart. That's stunning. Nine inches across. Have you ever seen a day lily that was that big? It's enormous. I mean, oriental lilies aren't even that big. Wow. And then our other, next one is Orion Sky. Okay, you know what? That's a really good one, too. That and I think the um, Only Believe are my favorites. Yeah, and that, that one is that beautiful purple with that chartreuse throat. Uh, but again, you can see how beautiful the colors work together. It'll be really handsome in your garden. Yeah. A plant them on an embankment in a place where everything else has died. The daylily will thrive. Now, Philip, would you plant these all together or separate them or do both? It's up to you. Nice. Up to you. They look great together. They look great se um, separate. Uh, also, you can divide them at the end of next season if you wanted to do that. And have more. Yes, indeed. It's like the breaking of the loaves. You well, don't run out of them. Philip, I love spending time with you. Can't wait till we have you back in the studio again, but this has been fantastic, Thanks. too. Thank you so much. Happy Easter to you. My pleasure. Thank you so much, Sandra. Yeah, I would just encourage everyone to go to QVC.com and search everything we have from Philip Watson Designs. He has brought us some really extraordinary plants. And, you know, we can ship them to your house. You don't have to go anywhere to get them.